So I think when people first start making YouTube videos, one of the things that they tend to overlook is the thumbnail. Now, I know there's all that time spent writing, recording, editing, putting together your footage, and you just wanna get it out there for people to see. But the truth is, is that the first time that a person's gonna interact with your video is with the thumbnail. So you need to capture their attention right away. Now, I know a lot of you Photoshop masters already have a thumbnail game on point. This video isn't necessarily for you. These are those of us who maybe don't have those skills and just wanna get some nice thumbnails quick and easy. So in this edition of the lab, we're gonna show you some tools on how you can make YouTube thumbnails and some tips to make some interesting thumbnails. So there's a pretty common trend on YouTube known as YouTube face. This is basically when you see someone who's like shocked or amazed and you see it in all the thumbnails. And this has been proven that showing some kind of emotion or something to draw people in helps get clicks and gets people to watch your video. So if you're trying to incorporate this into your thumbnails, which you should, you're basically gonna need to take a screenshot of your face cam. So the thing is, is that you wanna insert your face or your reaction into some part of your video. So if you're doing a video on gaming, you know, you wanna put this into your gameplay. Or if you're doing like a vlog or something, you know, add that into a scene from it. And you're gonna to need to basically be able to remove your background. So if you have like a green screen backdrop, this is pretty easy to do. But if you don't have that, you can actually use XSplit VCam to change your background. So change it to a color that's easy to chroma out. So change it to green, red, or blue. You know, make sure it's opposite of what your shirt is. Don't wear a green shirt on a green background, unless you want that effect for some reason. But basically, you replace this and you take a screenshot of that and that way you can insert your face later into basically any scene that you want to. Now, if you don't have a face cam, you probably have a camera available. You have your cell phone camera. So basically take a selfie with your cell phone camera and then use it in a background removal website and you have a way to insert it as well. Now, the most important thing with any background removal technology is to have contrast with your background. So you wanna have a shirt and you know make sure your skin tone and your shirt don't match your background because if it matches, it's gonna make it really hard for the background removal software to cut you out. It's gonna you know, be really jagged and maybe not look so well. So make sure you have contrast with your background, You know, wear a different color shirt, don't blend in and it should work pretty well. So now that we have our YouTube face, you're gonna want a background to complement it. And so the background, the face and the title all gotta kind of work together. So if you're saying like my most amazing Fortnite game ever, you're gonna want your like amazed YouTube face and then you're gonna want a background of some Fortnite gameplay. So how do you get this background? Well, it's pretty easy. Just drop your footage into XSplit, pause it at the point that you want it and then take a screenshot. Then take that screenshot, drop it into XSplit and composite it together with your face. And you've already got a pretty good solid thumbnail with that. But if you wanna add a bit more touches to it, like there's all these filters and effects you can add to it with XSplit. Like let's say you wanna like blur your background a little bit to create like a bit of mystery or intrigue. So you can basically, you know, duplicate the background. Let's say you only want to blur a certain part of it. You know, you can crop some stuff out, apply a smoothing filter to it. And there you go, you got like a question mark, like, hmm, what's happening in this scene? Really all the effects you can do and layers you can add in XSplit, the possibilities are endless. So the final element you can add is adding some text to your thumbnail. Now with text, you want to show a little bit of restraint. Like all you need to do is add the text source into XSplit, but you don't want to add too many like words or phrases like you want to keep it very simple, maybe four or five words max, because you just want to let people know at a glance really quickly what your video is about. And you don't want to have them, you know, read an essay or something. So you can definitely add effects to the text like you can add, you know, stroke and shadow and you can use some HTML code to like do paragraphs and kind of break up the text. You can do all these kind of different crazy things. But the most important thing is be really brief with the text. Keep it really short and again you know using things like questions like am i the best or something like that will draw people in and also use colors that will complement the background things like yellow or white things that'll catch people's eyes it's really what you want to do with your text so pretty much now you should have all the elements that you need for putting together a pretty cool thumbnail for youtube all you got to do is hit that screenshot button one more time upload it to your youtube video and hope you get blessed by the algorithm gods but it doesn't stop there. You know, you should use this thumbnail in other places, you know, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, your fleets, your stories, your snaps, wherever you need to put it. But I also want to know from you, like what tips do you have for creating really cool thumbnails for YouTube? And like, what kind of thumbnails do you like to click on? We'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Give a like if this was helpful and make sure to subscribe for the next time we're going to be in the lab.